catch up on some of the other headlines making news this morning, beginning with the many articles about the fallout since George Stephanopoulos apologized for not disclosing $75,000 in donations to the Clinton Foundation. Over the last several years, I've made substantial donations to dozens of charities, including the Clinton Global Foundation. Those donations were a matter of public record, but I should have made additional disclosures on air when we covered the foundation. And I now believe that directing personal donations to that foundation was a mistake. Even though them strictly support work done to stop the spread of AIDS, help children, and protect the environment in poor countries. I should have gone the extra mile to avoid even the appearance of a conflict. I apologize to all of you for failing to do that. Now, ABC News says it is standing by Stephanopoulos. They say he made an honest mistake, but he, and he has voluntarily removed himself from being the moderator of a future Republican presidential primary debate. But Stephanopoulos has already given his critics plenty of ammunition. They ask whether he can still be credible covering the Clintons at all. And covering the Clintons at all means covering the 2016 campaign at all. Um, look, there's a longer-term story here. Republicans have sort of been suspicious of jo George Stephanopoulos since he went into the media, since he went to ABC basically fresh from the Clinton White House in the late 1990s. I don't think it was Republicans. I don't think it was just Republicans. Yeah, you? It's, mm -hmm. yes. I mean, I think people, I mean, I mean. Although, it, I, I say that that is a jump that happens a lot in that, that wall between politics and the media. Sure. You know, Tim Russert was Mario Cuomo's but, guy. But became, the expectations, right. I think, are different depending on which role you play. If you're one of somebody who's on a panel with different views and you've been in politics, I've worked in politics, a lot of other people have worked mm -hmm. in politics, then there's not that expectation that you're going to be a neutral arbiter. And I think that Stephanopoulos had carved out a role like Russert as being a neutral arbiter and, and being the host for these debates as someone who is not representing a partisan viewpoint. This just brings up a lot of those same concerns again. It, it does, but I wonder, does it... If, if this came out three years ago or four years ago, not in the current climate That's where we've right. just spent a month talking about the Clinton Foundation where she announced her That's candidacy, right. does this, did this look different when he did it? It looks completely different. And I would say that now, especially, the optics are terrible. But at the same time, I would say, again, bringing back kind of this very human factor into this, if you have an old boss who starts a foundation, you are going to support that foundation. Should he have disclosed it? Absolutely. But I'm not, even, I'm not even suggesting that he shouldn't have made the donations. I think it is ridiculous that people divorce themselves from humanity they are dealing with whether it's a journalist, whether it's a, a coach of sure. a team. But Stephanopoulos is a nice guy, but he, sh he can't start that interview with Peter Schweitzer without saying, hey, just so you know, I, I gave I money. Right, so the guy, right, the well, guy has to say that. Well, well, I agree with you on that point. I said he should have. I mean, there are two ironies here. One is now he is like a candidate. He, you know, he's now said that he's made his public apology. We're going to see what the American people have to say about it. He's put his credibility on <laughs> the line, and now he's like the candidate he's covering. The other irony is some of this Republican pushback on the idea of a biased campaign debate moderator is a little rich after what? they rebuilt their debate system <laughs> to say the only people who can host debates are hosts of right-wing radio talk shows. I mean, they have made a, they, they made a concerted effort. They, they made a concerted effort to, to have biased to have particularly ideologically biased uh, primary debate moderators. And well, and, and the complaint there, the, the <laughs> like more specific that. complaint that, that I've heard from conservatives and Republicans about Stephanopoulos was in 2012. Yes. When mm -hmm. he asked questions about the whole issue of contraception, he, he pressed the issue in a debate. A lot of Republicans felt this was sort of a manufactured issue that he put onto the national radar that, that, that kind of hit the candidate from nowhere. So they've been suspicious of him since then. Or could it be something then. that he legitimately believes in? Sometimes you work for people who you actually ideologically agree with. So th again, this to me is very bizarre. Like, okay, he is a democratic leaning journalist who came out of the White House. Like that is not But well, I guess that's I guess the, 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 that. the thing he, is that he's ABC Clinton's spokesperson. I don't know that Bill Clinton's I mean, he came up with Bill Clinton. He came up through that, you know, yeah. that system. I'm not sure that I, you know, He's going to be covering this second run for the Clintons for the presidency, third run for the presidency. I don't know that you that's... Mean, I mean, that's no right, we, we, we've got to... Uh, I think we're getting more information here. We talked about at the top of this segment, word of that raid being carried out inside of Syria. We said we'd get some more information on it. And I think we have Kristen Welker live at the White House right now. Kristen, with some details on that, please.